This is Marvin Riley. Hope you guys are all doing. But my hair's probably a mess right now. This is stress. I thought I'd actually just do a bit of reaction for the elimination process because I did not do it last time when I started reviewing this particular show. So I thought I should get into that because a lot of people are reacting to this and I thought I'd chime in and just see who gets eliminated, who gets saved. We've seen people come back. It definitely has to be, it should be Aja. Please bring Aja back. Bring back Aja, bring back Aja. I think that everyone here is deserving of getting to be a part of this and of getting to- Definitely Chi Chi. Chi Chi is so funny. There's one queen who um, didn't have as much- Anyway, it's me. Yeah, I need to be moving back. Maybe because she felt guilty because of what happened and the fact that Morgan just came for her. And because she wasn't very undeserving. Uh, I wanted Aja, I'm not gonna lie to you, that's what pissed me off. Uh, shut up, Morgan. I actually wanted Aja. I feel like she's just better. Who is she eliminating? This is what I'm ready for. Kennedy needs to go. Kennedy is the weakest link. I love Kennedy, but this is your time to go. You're just, you're, you're just not that, like Shangela or Trixia, you know what I mean? Bye, Kennedy. She knows she's going, she can tell Kennedy. What the fuck is I going on? That. I feel like a winner. I love these girls. I think they all deserve a shot to win. And I I am incredibly grateful. I hope that you all can see that. I'm actually I don't know how. What is she doing? Why are you going home for? I feel so good. You're an idiot. You're on you're a like big I'm idiot. Winning. Wow, well That's you haven't won. So it shall be done. What the fuck is going on? Actually, you know what is going on? Because this is actually mad. Is this not some type of trick? Ben wanted to leave on her own terms. Then good for her, but it's still kind of like we're just kind of like over it because she's like being omnipotent. You guys win. Shut up, Doji. It just seems so like. Thank you all. Oh wow, this is actually nice. What the f is happening? This is no, actually nice. Mad. What the fuck just happened? Hey guys, it's Marad Rani. Hope you guys are all doing well today. So we have the brand new episode of RuPaul's All Stars 3 and I am shocked to say the least of what just happened. Ben Delacrem decided to eliminate herself and bring back Morgan Michaels. Now, do I think Morgan Michaels is deserving? To an extent, I do so simply because I believe she left straight away and you know, it was kind of unfair. She felt like she had more to give, but also I feel like Aja was the best out of all of them and Aja's performance was much better in that particular episode the wrapping and everything just it was just it was just had a bit more flavor and taste and there's a bit of a bit more fluidity to it got a level of your puss in the middle of a kitty cat fight got a secret bigger than Alyssa's. wanna pet my little kitty and kiss her benji queen got my baby hair slick don't got to say just lick my secret entirely as opposed to morgan's performance which is a bit slow do I feel like Morgan's gonna win? No, I don't. I feel like this is Shangela's or Trixie's game, to say the least. I am shocked and I'm still a bit, I don't know. Like, I just feel weird. I can't believe Ben has decided to just eliminate herself. I don't know why, I don't know what's going on. I'm going home. What? 
I um, I'm genuinely shocked. Like I just I don't understand why you would do that. Yes, you want to play this omnipotent presence. You feel like you've won. You've won so many challenges. I understand what you're saying, but really and truly, if you've come this far, why are you gonna just suddenly go home now? Yes, she was winning so easily, which I felt as well. And obviously, she's actually living through that. So she's probably feeling even more. But I do feel like you're winning for a reason to get to the end goal, end title. I wanted to see you in the final with Shandala with Trixie. I really wanted to see you through as a top three. That's not gonna happen now because you've decided to eliminate yourself, which I feel like was stupid. Overall, I feel like it was stupid. Like, I'm still pissed. I'm livid. Bro, that was mad. Anyway, let's just get into the rest of the entire episode. So they all come back and everybody is clashing with everyone. It is actually just going off. Transpired because I can't have this conversation again. I can. I'd love to have this conversation about no, feelings yeah, about yeah, me behind no my back. Way. Don't shush me, Trixie. I'm sorry you don't want to talk about it anymore, but 15. That's not what you just said, yeah, though. Well, you said you're keeping baby, people. I ain't done. Numero uno. I said, girl, I love no, you. You're baby, good. You're you keep, don't you stop just... without love me because you keep cutting me off. I'm trying to You literally just said, thank you. And I just thought it was kind of messed up because I thought the least you could have done was say, hey, Aja helped me. And it was like, you kept running to Trixie, kept running to Trixie. And then all of that just came together to say, you know what? I'd rather not work with somebody that is not going to be. You have Milk crying. I, I just feel like Milk is really somebody who is so full of themselves, the ego and the pride is just swimming around that they simply are not able to see what it is at hand here. And the key, key sentence that he said to the rest of the people is that he said that you are allowing me to do this, you are allowing me, no, you, it is you, you are in control of your actions, your presence, your reflection, how you come across, it's just to do with you, accountability for your actions, stop directing at other people and taking the blame off yourself simply because about you doing that, you are actually, you are limiting the growth that you can have as a person, the self-love, the self -love, reflection you are limiting all of that by blaming other people for x y z or really and truly it was you your pride and ego is so high up there you think you're better than everybody else you think you can say certain things and completely forget about the feelings and how you're hurting people it really is unfair i would say and i'm actually quite shocked um about how he was crying and how he broke down i don't know what was going on there and this whole Aja and Bebe stuff, I feel like Bebe herself should have at least taken accountability and understood that Aja did help and at least thank her. And I feel like she should have just said that and she just completely refused. And I'm like, Yo, this girl helped you make a dress. And, you know, I'm not saying she was the reason why you got through. But I'm not saying she's the reason why you got through, but she helped you to make that dress. Just be thankful and call it a day. As simple as that. Let me have this whole note situation. And, you know, I'm glad that I thought she was able to, you know, I thought she'd be a bit scared she comes across somebody she comes across as, as somebody who's very um, anxious 24 7 so i feel like when it came to a conversation like this i thought she'd be quite you know worried about having it but really and truly she came with it head on she wasn't shaking herself she wasn't worried or upset she had the conversation with shangela and they kind of moved on from it from an extent but i do feel like kennedy's performance in this entire episode wasn't that great as opposed to the rest she wasn't meant to give diva and diva was something that she was not giving so i do feel like this was a complex episode so much happened especially this morgan and ben brick beef i feel like that was another reason for why ben decided to say morgan I don't feel like Morgan's performance was the best in this episode, but Morgan came for Ben like no other, and Ben did not see it coming. It really shook him to a whole new core. In mind, if that had been removed, I still would have thought that you were the weakest performance of the night. But in appearance, in performance, I didn't flub. If you listen to what the judges said, that you didn't want to right. play by the rules that but the you, community- But you understand what a hypocrite is, right? Sister, I don't think they're gonna find a bridge over troubled water. We're all recording together and Trixie was coming off a bit cold. I feel like that was not her inherent intention, but that is how somebody comes across and you need to be perceptive of how you come across to other people, which I think she lacks, which I feel like is a very important tool that people need to have. Nevertheless, this episode shook me. Both the groups did well when it came to this entire, you know, girl group stuff, but I feel like the top all stars, the current ones were better. However, I think Aja was the best in the other group. I feel like her flow was amazing. What I do like about Ben is that he was channeling his emotions and his anger and his frustration, his irritation and whatever he was going through with Morgan and he used that and channeled it for the performance and he came out on top. That is a tool that people need to use and utilize. It's very efficient and effective because when it comes to certain things like this, you know, you're a mix of emotions. People are coming at you, they throw a shade at you, embarrassing you. If you can channel all of that and use it to your advantage to come out on top you are one hell of a person and that in itself is another reason for why i'm pissed off as to why this person has decided to vote herself off it's like what are you doing okay we know you're good but you didn't win so 
Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Anyways, this is my small review and my reaction. Let me know what you guys think of it and let me know what you guys think of this particular episode. I'm shocked that Ben has gone. What do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of Bebe winning and her wig reveal and how it did nothing for her life? Because my girl was trying to reach for that, but really and truly, it did nothing for her. What did you think of Morgan home back? Did you want him to come back? Did you want Aja to come back? And what did you think about the girl groups and who was better? Thank you guys for watching my small review. Hit me up on my Instagram, please, and on my website if you guys want to check out what I do there. And thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you guys want to, and enjoy the rest of your day.